Hey everybody, how's it going? Mike from the most focused garage in the world here, and in today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit of gaming. Well, not gaming per se, but we're gonna be putting something together in order to use this gaming equipment. In Illinois right now, it is starting to cool off outside, and that means computer gaming season is upon us. And recently, I've picked up a Logitech wheel, pedal, and shifter setup here in order to keep me busy through the winter through some computer PC gaming. We've got the paddles, we've got the shifter, we've got a clutch, um, and I was trying to use this clamp to my desk, and it just wasn't really something that I enjoyed. It got in the way of my computer and my keyboard, and I was kind of working away and around it. It was awkward to play in a computer chair, so I went online and I looked up some inexpensive rig solutions that I could mount this to in order to make my gaming a little bit more enjoyable. Now, keep in mind, this is a very budget-friendly setup. This isn't going to be breaking any kind of records. This isn't going to be some kind of crazy you know, uh, direct drive rig or anything like that. I mean, this this is what it is. Um, you know, anybody knows this is a very entry-level system. I don't competitively race or anything like that. I don't plan on doing that. But I wanted to get something better than playing with a controller and something with a little bit more immersive and experience. So, rather than clamping this to a desk, like which was what I did in the beginning, we're going to go ahead and clamp this to kind of its own little standalone rig that I can set a chair in front of and make my gaming a little bit more enjoyable. So, in this video, we're going to be doing just that. We're going to be putting this into whatever is in this box here, throwing it all together and showing you guys what that looks like, what I think of it, and how it all works. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and open up this box and I'll show you what we're working with. You gotta love it when your instructions are absolutely destroyed. So if you ordered one for yourself here, this is kind of what the instructions look like. Um, I'm assuming that it's not going to be the most high quality instructions or the high, highest quality of metal or anything like that. But, again, this is what we've got. Uh, we're going to kind of unpackage it all here, lay it out, see what we're working with, and I will check back in with you once we're ready to kind of start throwing this together. You got just kind of your random metal in boxes, some stuff's bubble wrapped. No, no, no. I mean, I'm not expecting to be blown away by this. Again, I'm just looking to have something that's better than having it clamped to a desk. So we'll throw this together, see what we've got, check it all out. So if any of you guys are big fans of Haggard Garage, you'll clearly know that heavy means quality, right? So a lot of these pieces here, they're pretty sturdy. They're pretty heavy, but man, these instructions are an absolute joke. But we've got pretty much everything that looks like it should be included as dictated by the instructions here. So you can see we've got miscellaneous hardware, you know, the uh, metal support bars, uh, some lower plate there, the base frame, and then the upper arms that'll mount, obviously, the steering wheel and everything like that. So I've already kind of assembled the shifter. I have no idea how this actually is going to sit, so that'll take some trial and error. It says there's four different configurations here, depending on left-hand drive, right-hand drive, everything like that. I'm assuming as this comes together, I'll kind of get more of an idea, but... Here's the bars we've got there. Here's what we've got for obviously the pedal mounting plate and everything like that. Um, we'll figure that out in a minute. Here's our included hardware there. Uh, you've got obviously the little adjustable guys here and included tools, man. Big, big money there, you know. No expense spared when you're looking at the quality of this stuff. Basically snap on our Matco tools there. So crazy excited about that. And then they even went in and they pitched in some uh, Velcro here for cable management. Which, if you know me, I'm actually big about, so that's kind of funny they included that there. So, um, I'm going to kind of try to make heads or tails out of this. I think what's going to be best is get this oriented how it needs to be, and then kind of just build everything on top of it. Obviously, these bigger screws here with the washers and these nuts are going... These nuts are going to be what holds the longer legs onto this. And we'll just kind of see. Um, I'm assuming I may need to reference the Amazon pictures of this product to see how it needs to go together. Uh, not entirely sure of that, but once I get my wheel pedals and everything on here, uh, I'll probably figure out where stuff needs to go. But I don't think you guys need to watch me kind of uh, struggle to put the whole thing together. Unless that's something you would need to see. Um, but let me try and kind of get this to where I feel. It's a, another point worth showing you guys, and we'll check back in. Oh, another something you'll be interested in is uh, you've got these little tack welds here uh, that hold on these little plates. And, I mean, you can obviously see the stuff is not centered. And you go over here, and it's totally different uh, angles than that stuff is. So, again, these holes aren't 
perfectly even or anything. I'm not expecting them to be for the price that this thing is. Just something to be aware of. I mean, it's very, very like kind of scrap metal. You can see there's some imperfections in it. Uh, the underside of it isn't powder coated all the way through or painted all the way through over there. Again, not a big deal. Not expecting it to be at all. Uh, but if it's something that's very important to you, then obviously you're going to want to spend two, three times this to have something that's, you know, really, really top tier. But let's see kind of how this all fits together. I'm hoping nothing is bent and I'm hoping I have all the hardware I need to put this together. And I'm hoping that once I see kind of the wheel and the pedals on it, it'll all start to make a little bit more sense. So just a few moments later, this is what we are left with. We've got kind of the initial configuration of the stand here built. And I'm just going to walk you through kind of what the setup looked like and what it took to build. So going right down here, you can see we've got our vertical legs attached to the base plate. And then we've got kind of this little clamp here, top piece holding the mount for the steering wheel, and then the shifter arm swinging off the side. To hold these vertical legs to the base plate, there are just two screws, a top one here and a bottom one here. The top one actually has a nut cert inserted into this post. So there's nothing needed other than just the bolt itself. And then the bottom one, you've got to put a washer and a nut on it, as you can see. These legs just clamp into here with the provided screws. I guess not even screws, just kind of like set handles. You know, you put them in, this is threaded, screws in here, clamps into place. Top piece is very, very easy. Something you want to make sure of if for cable management, I believe, is that the side with the kind of channels through it that you can put your finger into are facing towards you where you're going to sit. So this is obviously the pedals away from you these lean back to you. This kind of support bar is going to be facing you. Obviously, I can adjust based on these slotted holes here, the angle of this. So once I get the wheel kind of mounted, which there are pre-threaded holes, which is pretty nice because there is a ton of hardware provided here for your pedals, your shifter, your steering wheel. So that way you don't have to clamp it to it. You can bolt it directly to it. Um, once I get everything mounted, I'm going to kind of play with my wire management, um, get everything mounted, play with the angles, play with the height. Obviously, I've got these pretty long right now. I'm not sure what my chair setup is going to need to be like, but I'm using the Logitech. I'm going to mount that to here. Um, but again, you can see here we've got kind of the post where everything's set. Uh, it went together very easily. There was no missing hardware. You can see we've got some adjustability on the bottom piece down here. This is slotted, that's slotted, and that's slotted. So you can take this bolt out here, move your pedal plate, from differing angles. So if you want it lower, you can put it down there. If you want it higher, you can put it up there. And then even for these vertical bars, I've got them mounted here. But if you're sitting like on a chair that's on the ground, you could use that bottom hole there and then put this top one either here or here to really bring the angle of that back. Obviously, I'm going to sit more upright in a taller chair. So you can see what we've got here. So this is where we've got it for here on me. You know, I've got just kind of the standard top one there. This is post is completely straight. And that's kind of what it looks like. So the height will obviously need some fine tuning once we get everything where it needs to be. I'm going to go ahead and throw the wheel on it, play with the angle of this a little bit, and I'll check back in once we've got that where it needs to be. We are done here. You're looking at the finished product. Now, before I get too far into my final thoughts and everything, one thing I do want to applaud the manufacturer of this is that all the holes underneath are pre-drilled so that you can actually screw in the steering wheel the shifter as well as the pedals so rather than using the clamps to hold everything down you can just use those screws underneath and you're good to go so what that means is everything that's on there is very very stable there's no clamps that are going to come loose the pedals aren't going to slide around everything is essentially anchored to the stand here now i can't wait to use it uh, obviously you can see here my killer cable management nothing's perfect <laughs> it's going to be some trial and error I'm not sure of the height of it and everything like that, but I wanted to get the wheel mounted to it. I want to get the pedals mounted to it. I want to get the shifter mounted to it. Everything's on here and it should be ready to go. Now, what I'm curious to kind of find out is just how this will hold up wobble wise. Now, when I grab this, you can kind of see here, I mean, you can shake it around, but when you have your feet on it and everything, I'm, I'm just not sure if it's going to wiggle around or wobble too much. If it's going to feel stable if it's not something i'd also like to point out is that this unit came with these little adjustable legs here that you can put on the bottom so essentially you can flip these on underneath screw them in as long or as short as you need to put them on the bottom of this bad boy here and then you've got the ability to kind of adjust the height obviously you can see the holes here that come through on the other side but you've got the ability to pop the legs on underneath here 
and really dial in that height of where you'd need this thing to be. Overall, for the price that you pay for this, I'm pretty excited to try it out. Again, I understand that this is not some full-fledged sim. Uh, your seating setup is going to kind of depend on how you end up liking this here. I'm probably just going to use a desk chair and just remove the wheels from it and plop it in front of it. Just put it on its low setting and kind of dial back the height of this. This is super easy to change the height of. Obviously, we've got the knobs down here to kind of dial that in. Uh, this kind of seems to be my best idea for the shifter. Uh, I'll see if this feels natural, but if not, again, it's easy to move around and get it into a position that we will like better if this doesn't end up working out for us. Overall, I'll have a link in the description uh, for this product down below. It was not sponsored. Uh, this is something that I kind of found on Amazon itself. It's not perfect. Again, like I said, don't expect perfect with this. The price isn't going to be there. It's going to have some chipping in it. The coating is not going to be perfect. It even kind of seems slightly bent or tweaked, but that may just be due to this being at different heights or something like that. I haven't, you know, fully, fully dialed it in. I just kind of wanted to show you what it was like to put it together and what it looks like when it's together because I couldn't really find any video reviews about this particular one. There's a million like this out here, uh, but this particular one, I wanted to just kind of see what it looks like. And overall, it's not bad. I think it's going to do the trick of what I need to do for kind of doing racing sims, doing BMNG, playing just whatever kind of car games that I've got online ready to go. If you got any questions, go ahead and drop them in the comments down below. If not, I definitely had fun putting this together. Um, it did come with everything I need, so I didn't have to make any trips to the hardware store. I've got some extra bolts. You know, that's always a great thing when you put something together to just have extra hardware. So fun, so satisfying. <laughs> but yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I'll probably get this plugged into my computer, um, get a game set up and see what I feel about this. Um, but that'll be the next video or a future video. This is Mike from the Focus Garage signing off, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.